Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and welcome to the monthly Patreon video. If you're watching this and you're not supporting me on Patreon, then the reason is probably because there's a new Patreon video over on Patreon. Today I'm going to be talking about a claim that some Flat Earthers make, but not every Flat Earther makes this claim, fortunately. So the claim goes like this, let's say that it's June, and at 12pm the sun is directly overhead. Then go 6 months into the future. At 12pm, where should the sun be? They assert that in the heliocentric model, at 12pm 6 months in the future, the sun shouldn't be in the sky, in fact it should pretty much be midnight. So why do they think this? Well if the earth is spinning at one rotation per day or one rotation per 24 hours, then after 24 hours it should be pointing in the exact same direction. That would be 12 p.m. every day, it would be pointing in the exact same direction. And if the Earth is orbiting around the Sun, then if the Sun is overhead at 12 p.m. in June, then in December it should be the complete opposite, right? So this argument is somewhat logical, it just has a really flawed premise. So the first thing to consider is, how did we used to measure time? So the way that was quite frequently used to measure time was sundials. In ancient Egypt they actually had giant obelisks. Now with sundials, what is the main thing that is keeping track of the time there? Is it the direction which the earth would be pointing? Or is it the direction the earth is pointing in relation to the sun? It is of course the direction the earth is pointing in relation to the sun. Now keep in mind that even though we've known earth to be a globe for over 2000 years, we've only known earth to be orbiting around the sun for 500 years-ish. I'm not going to look that up. So obviously it makes sense that our entire timing system is based on Earth in relation to the Sun. If you want even more evidence of this, talk to someone on the opposite side of the world. Ask them what time it is and look at the time that it is for you. The reason why it will be a completely different time is because the Sun is overhead for them at a different time than it is for you. Just don't go ahead and ask someone that's in the different hemisphere in the same time zone. You know what I mean. But this will only hold true until the whole world finally embraces UTC. I can't wait for that day. Please be in my lifetime. But even after explaining all that, I haven't really addressed the main argument. If the Earth is spinning at one rotation per 24 hours, then after 24 hours it should be pointing in the exact same direction as it was before. The problem here is that the Earth doesn't exactly rotate once per 24 hours. It actually rotates a little bit faster than that. To be exact, it actually rotates at a rate of 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds-ish. And this is what is called a side reel day. A solar day is how long it takes for the sun to get to the same position as the previous day, and that is what most of our time is based on, whereas a side real day is how long Earth takes to rotate in relation to the stars. And flat earthers might be asking, well how do you know how long a side real day is? And as I said before, the stars. You can look at a star rising and note down what time it is, and look at the star rising the next day. It won't rise exactly 24 hours after it did the first day. It should actually take 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds to rise again. And this is something that anybody can go and observe with a clock and a telescope. But anyway, that's it for this video. A big thank you to all my patrons, especially Fight the Flat Earth, Stan Trucker, What Jesus, Robert Legere and Wolfie. As always, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.